Welcome back to Life on Wheels, where we dive into the pulse-pounding world of aviation that makes your heart race faster than a Ferrari on the open road. Today, we're soaring into the shadows of history and the horizon of tomorrow with the legendary State Route 71 Blackbird and its hypersonic air, the 2026 State Route 72, the son of Blackbird that's set to redefine reconnaissance like never before. Imagine a machine born from Cold War paranoia, designed to outrun missiles and pierce the veil of enemy secrets, now evolving into a ghost at Mach 6. Buckle up, because this isn't just a story of wings and engines, it's a tale of human ingenuity pushing the boundaries of speed and stealth. Let's rewind to the 1960s, when the United States faced the Iron Curtain of Soviet secrecy. Lockheed's Skunk Works, that clandestine band of engineers led by the brilliant Clarence, Kelly, Johnson, birthed the state Route 71 Blackbird in absolute secrecy under the CIA's Oxcott program. First flying in 1964, this beast wasn't just an airplane, it was a technological marvel disguised in radar-absorbing black paint that gave it its iconic nickname. Stretching over 107 feet long with a wingspan of 55 feet, the state Route 71 was crafted from titanium scavenged from the Soviet Union itself. Ironic, right? to withstand skin temperatures exceeding 600 degrees Fahrenheit at Mach 3 speeds, or more than 2,200 miles per hour. Its Pratt & Whitney J-58 engines, turbojets that morphed into ramjets at high speeds, gulped a special JP-7 fuel that cost a fortune but allowed it to cruise at 85,000 feet, higher than most weather balloons dream of. Pilots, clad in pressure suits straight out of sci-fi, flew this titanium bird on missions that gathered intel over hostile skies from Vietnam to Libya, evading over 4,000 surface-to-air missiles without a single loss. Picture this. In 1976, it shattered records, clocking the fastest air-breathing manned flight at 2,193 miles per hour, a mark it still holds today. The Blackbird didn't just fly, it danced on the edge of physics, with spike inlets that adjusted like a living organism to manage supersonic airflow contributing 54% of its thrust at top speed. Over 32 years of service until its 1998 retirement, briefly revived in the 90s amid budget battles and satellite hype, it logged thousands of hours, proving that no drone or orbiter could match its real-time, unpredictable edge. But why retire a legend? Cold War's end, skyrocketing maintenance costs, up to $300 million a year, and faith in unmanned tech sealed its fate, though NASA squeezed a few more research flights until 1999. Fast forward to 2025, and the Blackbird spirit refuses to fade. Enter the SR-72, Lockheed Martin's audacious successor, unveiled in concept back in 2013 but now barreling toward reality with a prototype flight slated for late 2025 and full operational capability by 2026. Dubbed the son of Blackbird, this unmanned hypersonic marvel promises to eclipse its predecessor, hitting Mach 6, over 4,600 miles per hour, making it twice as fast as the original and untouchable by today's defenses. At around 100 feet long, it'll mirror the SR-71 sleek, arrowhead silhouette but swap titanium for advanced composites and ceramics to handle the infernal heat of hypersonic flight, where air friction turns the airframe into a plasma inferno. The Game Changer a turbine-based combined cycle engine from Aerojet Rocketdyne, blending turbojets for takeoff with scramjets, supersonic combustion ramjets, for sustained Mach 6 dashes. No more bulky pilot suits. This is a drone, controlled remotely or autonomously, designed for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance in denied airspace where even stealth fighters fear to tread. Imagine it zipping from California to Tokyo in under an hour, snapping real-time photos or signals intel that satellites can't touch due to their predictable orbits. Lockheed's Skunk Works has poured billions into this, drawing from DARPA's hypersonic tests and the SR-71's linear aerospike experiments, ensuring it doesn't just fly fast but strikes surgically, perhaps even launching hypersonic missiles mid-flight. Challenges abound. Thermal management to prevent melting, fuel efficiency at those blistering speeds, and integration with AI for split-second decisions. Yet, with U.S. rivals like China and Russia racing their own hypersonics, the State Route 72 isn't just a revival, it's a strategic imperative, 
projected to enter service in the early 2030s but with 2026 marking the dawn of its test era. What makes the state Route 72 more than a speed demon is its legacy of innovation. Just as the Blackbird revolutionized materials science and inlet design, this new bird will pioneer active cooling systems and adaptive engines, spilling tech into commercial jets and space travel. Critics whisper it's vaporware, delayed by budgets and physics, but whispers from Lockheed insiders and Air Force nods suggest the prototype's engines are firing on test stands right now. In a world of drone swarms and cyber spies, the son of Blackbird reminds us that sometimes, raw speed and altitude are the ultimate cloak. As we watch this unfold, it stirs the soul, like trading your daily driver for a hypercar that defies gravity. There you have it, folks, the Blackbirds roar echoing into 2026. If this hypersonic saga has your adrenaline pumping, smash that like button, subscribe to Life on Wheels for more aviation epics, and drop in the comments, would you pilot the original or command the successor? Hit the bell, share with your gearhead crew, and we'll catch you on the next high octane ride. Safe travels, and remember, in the skies, legends never truly retire, they evolve.